for the most part, the connectedness of internet dating has made our world more challenging. Internet dating sites are a great bar to meet people for dating. You're going to get to the point more quickly on a dating site. 20% of users are actually on more than one service. Up to three services is typical. And uh, it, it pays to take that approach because users will often go for a generic service and then they'll choose one or two niche dating sites. One thing it does very well is widen the pool of prospective partners. I mean, you know, if you live in a small rural area, suddenly you can be surfing the United States or the globe, and so you have many more partner choices. Imagine this. It's Thursday evening, you feel like a date, and you just need to find the right person. So you open up your mobile phone, and you search, and you find somebody you're interested in, and you, uh, you find that they're actually within a couple of miles away from you. You invite that person into a quick video chat on your mobile phone, and you like the look of each other, seems like you've got a little bit of chemistry, you like the way she moves, and you decide to have a date there and then. Within 20 minutes of deciding you want a date, you can be on a date. At the same time, internet dating creates a kind of superficial, uh, well, there's so many people, if this one doesn't work out, I can go to the next one. It's not necessary for me to invest in a relationship. How do you build trust? How do you build attraction when you're so disposable? And it's true that trust is something that takes a long time to build and an instant or a click to lose. Technology may help you find a mate, but that may be the number one reason you lose a mate. Because if you found someone on the internet, then you're always gonna be worried that the next time you see that person on the computer, that they're finding someone else yeah. beside you. And see, that's us. what women think. Guys are more interested in having a short-term relationship that could lead to a long-term relationship. Whereas women are more interested in, in starting out with the prospect of a long-term relationship. All the 40-year-old men are looking for 20-year-old women. And everybody is looking for blonde-haired, blue-eyed girls between the age of 24 and 30. Regardless of their age, income, or status, that's who everybody's looking for. They see if you're attractive, and they rely on it, and they keep going through and through, thinking that we're going to find this perfect person. But it's not true. It's like you have to get to know the person, and actually, and how they are emotional. And, you know, other than just by, you have 19 matches that connect you. <laughs> Everybody seems to have the same quirky little story that they have on their profile. And, oh, I like to do this, and I like children, and I like long walks in the park. Everybody likes to travel. Everybody likes some interesting quirky thing. And especially the girls, because they're trying to get a certain type of guy, they always say, oh, I like football, and I like beer, and I like to do this and that. And... My sense is, from talking to friends of mine who've done that, that girl's never really liked that. This is the girl that wears a lot of makeup, wants to blow dry her hair, and doesn't wear a baseball cap when she goes out, regardless of a picture of her with a Yankee cap on standing next to Derek Jeter. In the past, it was okay to have an okay match, and now people have such high expectations from seeing all the TV models and seeing all the, you know, the, the, the women are seeing the hunks in the magazines and and nothing less will do, unfortunately, but they don't realize Photoshop accounts for most of what they're seeing, <laughs> so. I don't like half the people I know, so I don't really think a stranger is, you know. I mean, and you can be anybody you want to be in the course of a, converse, a written conversation, and even in the little bit, Charles Manson was a nice guy the first time people met him. He was like, hey, let's party with Charlie, you know? I mean, people followed him around because he was a cool guy, but... The Beach like, Boys moved him in his house. Right, I mean, people can be anybody they want to be behind a keyboard. People are finding that they can put on different personalities, like they're putting on clothes. You know, put up a wall or a front or an electronic edition of themselves and then they let the world interact with that electronic edition of themselves. But what people don't realize is, in the new world, everything ultimately gets found out.